Now we know where my money goes. Air travel, you know, I try to go high end, but sometimes it just doesn't work out, so you gotta go economy. Mm. Well, if I'm traveling with the children, we might go a little budget, only because it's me plus three, that's four tickets. In my mind, doing the math, it's just a mess. But if I'm traveling by myself, it's first class all the way, maybe. I'm sounding horrible, but I, <laughs> I really do go high when it comes to air travel. Uh, I, I Listen, I'm 54 now. I can't be in a lot of discomfort. Low always, because when you're traveling with, like, there's five of us. Like, it, to me, it's obscene to spend that much money on five plane tickets. Air travel low. I think it's ridiculous to pay a premium just to sit a few rows up. It's funny, I actually sometimes prefer to sit and coach. What I find is, is that if I go, like, first class, I actually want to stay awake and experience the meals and like the cool seating or whatever. So sometimes I actually really prefer just going coach so I can, because I don't really want to be awake, so I'll just like pass out. Air travel, I'm easy. I'm very low maintenance with travel. Air travel, Katie's a little bougie, but I'm perfectly happy in coach. Just please, for the love of God, do not put me in a middle seat. I'm too lanky. Pets are expensive no matter what pet you have. I mean, even pet insurance, I don't even know what that does, so hi. Pets, oh my God, high all day, oh my God. They live a first class life. I make them gourmet dinners every single night, mix it up, salmon, chicken, beef, but it's balanced. Oh yeah, gourmet. I mean, I, I buy the dog food and then I incorporate a nice, sometimes they like mashed potatoes in there, just a little bit. Sometimes a little mac and cheese, just a little. Um, I'm, I love dogs and love cats, but I'm gonna go low, because I feel like they don't know the difference. Um. Yeah, I mean, our, actually, yeah, hi, never mind, hi. I get, we get gourmet dog food. I actually eat it myself, like when I'm making it for Charlotte and for our cat, I'll like try it and eat it. I like it. Manicures, yes, I think I go high. I like a good manicure. I'm not sort of Second Avenue corner manicure person, no. Nails, I'm gonna go high. I love a good manicure, love a good pedicure, so. I go high on nails. If I get manicures on behind the bar, my cuticles actually fray easier. So, it's a low for me. Low, because I don't get my nails done at all, but I do get pedicures. And I still go low, because I feel like it's, I'm putting them in socks, so no one's gonna see them. Less than 25 bucks. I don't know, I don't know if that's cheap or not, but it sounds cheap. There's some, some things that I will skimp on, and it's not where I'm going to lay my head. Hi, St. Regis, Four Seasons. That's it. Oh, hotel is 100% high. If I'm gonna be paying money to sleep in a bed that is not my own, it is not gonna be the Howard Johnson. I will not stay in a bad hotel. So high when it comes to hotels. I'd rather stay shorter in a beautiful hotel than longer in a crappy hotel. Now, it's just too depressing. My theory in life is, do not stay anywhere that's not as nice as your home. Oh, hotels, I have to go high all the time. If we're going on a family vacation, it's more about like the ambiance and like that it, everything's gonna work. So most of the time it's like the family friendly, all inclusive places, so it's on the lower. Um, if it's like myself and my husband or friends, probably high. Hotels, I, I spend high. I, I like luxury. Probably high for hotels. <laughs> I like a balcony, you know. So yeah, I would say hi. I like to do room service. If they have to have good robes in the room, and usually high expensive hotels have good robes. So you pick a hotel based on the robe? And sometimes, yeah. Home decor. I would say home decor is a mix of high and low. Like my rugs are very expensive, but then like I have some furniture that I have gotten super cheap, consignment stores, thrift stores. You, you gotta mix it up. So you do, you do high, you do very nice couch pieces, very nice accessories, but sometimes you can throw in a little Target blanket or something, it's, it's fine. Well you know Bluestone Manor, I love my home. I go high on my home because we live there and everyone knows I'm a big home buddy. Home decor, mm, I go low, Katie goes high. I'm frugal with home decor. Home decor is always my husband, he goes high, I complain about it. 
skincare. If I'm not doing every hue beauty, uh, which would be free for me, then I have to use great skincare and it doesn't matter the price. Whatever is going to make my skin look back in the sun. Skincare is definitely high. I always say they see the face before the shoes. Oh, you gotta definitely get it. Got good skincare. And I mix and match. I mean, I have sort of like my Sicily and my Elemis, but I also have my oil of Olay, my Eucerin products, my Cetaphil. Hi, I'm obsessed with Sunday Riley. Their products are amazing and yeah, they're pricey. I'm kind of lazy, so basically I just spend low. I use Neutrogena wipes and one lotion by IT. This may sound surprising, but low. I don't actually have a skincare regimen. I just water on my face, don't touch your face, don't do that. So drink a lot of water and that's low, that's cheap. Hi, for sure. Um, definitely good moisturizer, good eye cream. I love masks, especially when I'm traveling, like in Vegas. You just, you gotta have like one of those masks with you. It's just, and definitely chapstick. Otherwise you get Vegas lips. Hi, hi. Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, Gucci. I always go high with my handbags. Here's the thing, handbags and shoes are so important. They say so much about the person, and you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of different handbags and shoes. You need some classic Birkins, or maybe a Kelly. And then, you know, every once in a while, fill it in with something that's sort of a little more current. I have a lot of clutches, so I guess high on the clutch, like day purses. Both high and low, like a more trendy purse I'll spend less money on because it's fashionable, and but I have my staple Hermes bags and, you know, Chanel bags. I definitely spend very high on handbags. Again, that's just an, a nice luxury accessory that you get to have forever, really, so you might as well put some money into them. Hi. I love my, all of my organic food. Um, however, a good Taco Bell run is always necessary. Low. I really don't believe in the whole organic movement, and I know that that sounds very um, unintelligent, but it's just the way that I feel. And I do, I clip coupons for groceries. Babies are expensive, formula is expensive. I would say low, low. Um, I usually just buy like what I need. I order in a lot, I'm kind of guilty of, I would say if it was about Postmates or Grubhub, I would say hi. Groceries high because it's, you know, health food stores are normally pretty expensive. I don't buy groceries, so I don't really know what I spend on them. Groceries, high when I'm high, eh, but traditionally low. Lingerie, hmm, lingerie. I have a lot of nice lingerie that I barely wear. I should be wearing more. So I think you gotta go both high and low depending on the night you're gonna have. You go high if it's gonna be one of these very elegant, sort of, you know, old fashioned at La Perla nights and you go low if it's gonna be a late night, dirty night. Lingerie, I tend to go high because I feel like it has to be silk, it has to be great quality, so I tend to go high. Lingerie low. <laughs> Sorry, Edwin. Uh, lingerie, I just really wear hanky pankies, so I guess that's sort of moderately priced. And then like, and then like a bra, I bought a TJ Maxx. Basically, that's what I do. Hi. Well, for me, finding a pair that fit, and usually jeans are custom for me, so you gotta spend a little bit more. But the quality, I mean, I've bought crappy jeans, and I think they fall apart after, you know, six months, where I've had jeans that are high-end, they last, you know, two or three years, if not longer. I've bought jeans everywhere from Target, to Louis Vuitton. If they fit well, I'll buy it. Jeans, probably high for the price of jeans. I mean, I go on the Revolve app and they're it's pretty pricey. Jeans? Mm, I would say low. Yeah, I usually just go to like Zara, you know, Topshop, nothing crazy. Well, I mean, jeans, I love J Brand jeans, so I don't want they're moderately priced, so. And if I like a style of something, then I'm just gonna buy it like in every color. So I'm into these J brand high-waisted jeans with some buttons and in every color they made them in, I bought them. Jeans, <sighs> jeans, because I used to splurge on like $200 pairs, but like, it's ridiculous, right? I'm not paying $200 for jeans ever again.
Nothing over 75. I spend way too much money on Palmer's wardrobe. I know that she's only going to be little for once, and she's only going to let me dress her for probably the next three years. And while I can dress her, I want to dress her the way that I want. In the middle, not high, not low, only because they mess it up. I always went high with kids' clothing. Hannah was the most beautifully dressed little girl, and it created a monster because now she's the most beautifully dressed millennial, and I'm still dressing her. Kids clothing low, and I make them wear them forever. My son asked me the other day, he goes, Mom, when are you going to get me pants that go down to my shoes? Luggage, I used to go high, but now I go low. In fact, every time I take a trip, I get a roly. I use it, and when I'm done with the trip, I throw it away. You know, with my cabaret show, I do a lot of traveling, and um, so when I shop for luggage, I tend to go on the low side because it gets beat up at the airport. So for luggage, I spend high. I love Louis Vuitton, so that's what I have. And I have several of the rollies and the duffel bags, and I don't know. It's a splurge, but I like it. Luggage? Oh, definitely high. Get, you got to get good, good quality luggage. I mean, well, not designer. I go more for, like, functionality. I'm not like Stasi that has, like, the, the designer bags. I'm not really that into that. Plus, they, it weighs more. The designer stuff weighs a lot more, and you want to keep weight down. Hi, Louis Vuitton or nothing. Used to go low, but now I go high because it's all about the bearings on those wheels. You got to have good wheels. I go high on the luggage. I think shitty luggage just also is like it just shows like kind of who you are. So if you have shitty luggage, you're probably like a really dirty person.